right. But yeah, um, I was saying about what, um, well, you didn't come to those conclusions yourself about, about Kyle. You just did it because you thought of loyalty. Yeah. Um, yeah, because my experience with Kyle is very different from you, right? Mm -hmm. um, you know, similar in some areas, but just, you know, no matter what, each of us has a different relationship with everybody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's just different dynamics. I mean, deep down, I mean, just the fact that he didn't get along with his mother and he got along with his dad, right? That sort of set the tone. Oh yeah, I guess the, so. Yeah. For the shadow patterns that were coming out. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you shouldn't hurt people on purpose. You try to really hurt them really bad, and then have no accountability for it whatsoever. Um. Yeah, this is malicious shit. um but yeah i don't think he's even around or like who knows who knows i don't want to know i just want him to sit far away from me ah my leggings Hello, I already fed you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, um, so yeah, you're, you're, I'm recap earlier this week with you about the Nenny News. Right. <laughs> I'm like, you know, I think I think Elijah doesn't know that the Nenny News is a part of a very secret plan. Like, huge. <laughs> so, I was like, uh, let me, we haven't really had any, you know, big, comp like a good conversation around any of that, I guess. Or well, I guess it wasn't very it, clear with it, or I don't know. Well, yeah, I mean, whenever you spoke about it, to me, there was never either reference to the plan or reference to anything other than it being your thing. So I just thought it was your standalone, what you want to do. Because whenever yeah. I suggest for you to take a next step towards getting maybe something like that done, you don't seem to uh jive with it well um well i'm just getting water for kilo well i basically before it was making sure that the that the paradigm toolkit is all put together first so that I because it all ties into it right so I, I would need definitely well we've got all the cards digitalized now right uh -huh. so then wait are you saying you were waiting for the new paradigm toolkit to be finished before you were going to start the mini news. Basically, yeah. Okay, because you never you time. never said that one either. Yeah, no, we haven't really had the conversation where I get to say it. I don't know, maybe, I, or I'm just not as focused as I should be, or I don't know. Because you've been in trauma for the past six months. I've been in trauma for so long. Constant attacks. 
I'm still standing. You can't get me down. You can't get me down. Um, yeah, because you know why? Because I'm selling that in it as well, but also I need all the cards to be digitalized so I can be like, this is the value of the day. You know, like these are the, you know. That's been, that's been done for years. No, we just did that um, recently, I thought. No, but I had them done somewhat similar, not quite the same way, but yeah, I've, yeah, I've had digital versions. They weren't, they were at a certain mm -hmm. level. Um, and then we were working on trying to make sure that all the, all the descriptions were up to par. Right. And then we're going to do that. And then, so then I could, I could utilize that during the show um, by doing, because I'm basically showing the cards and then doing examples of the cards. Right? Okay. So it's going to be like, it's also a teaching tool for unconscious communication, right? Yes. And then I'm using it in also with the parking lot and with the, you know, and in the community. So actually, you know, um, showing out in real time what, uh, what happens when you do a jab in a conversation or, or you know, a use a conversational killer, or when you're out of context, and you know, and show these things and show how it works, right? And then it's like, aha, easy. Oh my gosh, I know. I don't think humans are ready for actual conscious communication. I'm having my doubts. Well, um, it has to happen. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I was thinking. I had the vision of. I was like, well. <laughs> Everyone's gonna get fooled. Oh, we all were duped and oh great. Oh my God, look at all the crappy things that I did. Look at all the bad things that I said on the internet to other people. Oh, geez, I gotta do some, some work. Da, 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 da. Look, the, the School of Conscious Communication is here to help you through your shame and all the stuff that you created for yourself. And now here's a way to use your mind to get on the right track, you know. Yeah. I mean, to everybody wants to get on the same track. We all want to get on the right track. I don't know. Get on the right track. Because there's there's a lot of very intelligent people on the net, right? Who brilliant writers. They 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 can, but I don't think they have many friends. I don't know. You think it's about friends? Well, I mean, like real friends. Like, I mean, I, I don't know. I, like, it's like, imagine Tom Sawyer, if he had a, a cell phone, was always texting and writing in the way that people do, you know, but he's never down at the river, you know, floating on the, on the river. You know, the, people are so divorced from the natural flow of life, the real, real life. And they've lived their whole lives on this phone, texting, you know, and you would never text someone the way you would talk to somebody. Mm -hmm. Never. Like, I mean, you, like, well, it, it is. Like it just amazes me the, the difference between, let's say, Miss Plum and I when we're face to face versus on the phone. And it's just like, as soon as you leave someone's presence, they become a different person. Mm -hmm. And there's there's a uniqueness between the field that you have with that person, but it's very mm -hmm. different. I, don't know, I, I think something. I guess we are going through a transformation of the species, but I always yeah. thought it was going to be a positive one, but maybe it's not. We need to transform this way, for sure. You know you've got it. This is the answer. What's that? You know you've got it. It's the answer. I've got the answer. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 
I don't know. world when you think about what's the what's the biggest need and what's that well wouldn't it be um connection and communication definitely connection that's like connecting to everything a lot of disconnect going on so it just so happens that you've been working all your life on a, on the tools to do so. Yeah, the, I guess, I guess we'll just have to see what happens when people start to use them. So you just, yeah. I, I want to send. I want to send you something here. Um, I started. I put some symbols on the combo killers. Send it to me in email or um... I'm just going to send it right now in Messenger. I think these convo killers, if, if they were unleashed in the world, they could uh, they could create a lot of mayhem. Why? Well, just think of like somebody's talking and then somebody throws down a blah, blah, blah. And so like just people start using them and then it's just you're giving these people a weapon to hammer each other, right? Well, a lot of people need to be hammered. Not in not in a drunk way. Okay, so I'm gonna send these over. And you <laughs> tell you tell me there could be people that would do they would take the killers and then they would take the they would take the debate. And then they'd they'd put the combo killers on all the things that the president said, and the and the vice and the yeah the whole thing. And then another in all the things in media, be cool to transform it all into like that's a jab. Now that's flame. Now that look at this. This is called a red herring. <laughs> oh look, another one. <laughs> okay, go look in your thing. And I came up, I'm coming up with more of them. Um, if there's any you can think of that are missing too, you can. Mm -hmm. um, I wonder. I don't see it. Did you send it to me in Messenger? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a. Well, right now it's painted with a. Um, like a spiral. You know? Right. It's like doo -doo 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 -doo, Twilight Zone. And what are you uh, going to put on it? Well, I was thinking I was going to make it into a uh, um, a thing to um, like a divinatory wheel, see what you land on, and coinciding that with the with the parking lot. So it could be like well, you could. Choose your adventure kind of thing. Like, right, I got you. Hmm. So I mean, if you had three of them, and then you had one divided by seven, one divided by five, one divided by nine, and then they spin all three, and then that would create your, you know, what path you're on, what space you're in, and then what time frame you're in. Ooh. And that could be the framing for the adventure. Mm -hmm. Except they're super heavy. So I can 
Well, I could make it. I can make something else. I mean, just go to the all those little stores. Probably find one there, right? Mm -hmm. Especially if you set out your intention ahead of time. It just, it just came to me. Ah, <laughs> uh, did it? Yeah. Like I went that wheel one day, and all of a sudden the wheel was there. <laughs> but yeah, that looks cool. I like, I think maybe, I don't know. I like the images. It's nice. Do a little show on deciphering what uh, all the conversational killers are in some kind of thing on media. Well, that's like I've got a deadline for next Thursday to have a a combo killer v video done, something that can be like used as an educational tool. Okay. So, and I got another six videos to do. So I'm kind of, I got to get this done. Luciel is forcing me to do all those things I haven't done. Hmm. Like everything. Okay. I, I was thinking that too. I haven't done a lot of things, but I guess it's, um, it's uh, progression, not perfection. I always want to perfect it. Perfection is the death of productivity. Sucks. But, you know, I was born a Virgo. Uh. <laughs> As I tiny think, it's such a mess in my house, though. I'm, I don't know. That's not very Virgo like at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quite a few things up here. <laughs> things everywhere. But I'm still, I'm still gonna be the captain of the group, right? No. What? what? No. I thought you meant for the toolkit. Well, for the toolkit, for the the actual that team. What? <laughs> I'm still the captain. No, you're going to be at the seven roll. <laughs> I was vibing in. I was vibing into the reconfiguration. I was thinking, who isn't going to like this? I thought probably Lara. She was going to feel demoted. Oh yeah, it was the only thing that was keeping me going. <laughs> freaking got a promotion you don't just take away my fucking promotion because i'm in the depths of despair i'm showing up aren't i i'm still checking in on everybody in the group making sure everybody's all right jeez i'm crow <laughs> i remember i did this once to this woman like a long time ago and i put her as the president <laughs> a week later uh i demoted her and she went crazy. She was so attached. It, and there was only two of us. It didn't matter. She was very attached to the title. We're trying did, to find the ideal job. Did you learn something? Well, <laughs> no, I mean, the, the thing is like not to be attached because what we're looking for is the ideal job, right? <laughs> I mean, if, if your ideal job is, I mean, the thing is you, you have to, you're not really in a position. <laughs> I think 
to be the captain of anything. Excuse me? Except a spinning ninny. But what the hell? Do you really? Think, do you think you can go raise $5 million? What? I got to raise $5 million? Yeah. I've got to do it? If you're the captain. Jeez, I'm crow. No. I had stewardship. It was the, it was the fact that I was looking overall in the whole yeah. So you're just sitting there in the throne room and all the other people are doing the work and you hijacked it. Huh? You hijacked it and you're like, oh well, now we're gonna do this and that and this. And, and then I was like, I think we should do this. And then you're like, yeah, we're not doing that yet. And then I'm like, what? Oh, what are you, you, what are you talking about? Is this the have the cards been translated into Mandarin? Is that what you're talking about? Well, no. Were you serious? Yes, I was serious. <laughs> Did you I think was... I was serious with my answers? Yeah. Did you think there was 20 people translating the inflow in my basement? You didn't say basement. Yes, I did. Did you? Yes. Oh. Well. And did you think 200,000 copies that have just been translated by Zamir were coming in, in a Mandarin? I haven't even got 20 card sets printed in English. You think I've got 200,000 printed in Mandarin? So you thought I was being serious? That's what I mean. Lara, you're a bit out to lunch. What? <laughs> There's there's a big gap between reality and Lara world. <laughs> oh, fuck you. Fuck you. Um <laughs> I thought it was the funniest. I thought it was perfect role playing. And then I'm like, oh, okay. So but it hasn't been translated into Mandarin yet. Is it, is it <laughs> about to happen? Yes, sir. Very good, sir. And then you just responded with yes. I'm like, great. Perfect. <laughs> I really have trained my brain to think more positively than what it really is. Always. And then I get duped again and again. Lara, it's called a realistic assessment. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, they love me. <laughs> <laughs> things are working out already. As soon as I became captain, that's when things started happening. I know. I'm like, what? He's printed all these cards. It's perfect. Oh, great. Oh. See, if we could only communicate better, things would get better. Uh. <laughs> okay. I mean... <laughs> So here I am. I'm like, okay, great. So the cards are getting done. And all I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna I'm gonna order a whole bunch of shakers online. Uh, I'm gonna go to the to the Duncan Music and I'm gonna ask them if they can order it because then it would be more of a, a better, you know, more local or local business. So well that's a good move. That's a very good move. I don't think it's, I don't think it's dependent upon the Mandarin card set. Well, I wanted the I didn't. Yeah, maybe you were joking about the Mandarin card set, but I actually did think you were getting thousands of cards printed. <laughs> Good, and, and that's you get a lot more confidence in me than, than I merit. <laughs> okay. I'm going to have to do the cards. All right. No, I'm not, because I'm not the stewards. You know, actually, I'm not the captain, so I don't have to do shit. <laughs> you're, you're at the most important point, the seven. Your direct connection to the customer from the spinning ninny. You're the example of the retail outlet that is in co-creation, the school conscious communication to bring the new paradigm toolkit into the world. In that hive of intellectual stimulation, Duncan. Well, yeah, I want to do that. That's great. But I still wanted to be the captain of a group. Right. So. But the, 
<laughs> there's something that Wait, my promotion i thought okay i can still be the captain of that group however there may be you know when we do the project of the very of the toolkit then that's my then i'm the seven on that one have you ever been a captain of a team um maybe <laughs> have you ever had like have you ever supervised over five people yes that were directly under you for a while i do i in what yeah. context and i'm a dance instructor dance instructor is different <laughs> That's that's choreographing a show. That's not like running a business. That's getting like 30 ladies in one weekend to show up for one hour to do a dance, which takes much skill, but it is a little bit different than having those 30 people do a business together over a period of time. Right? Like we're in this to make money, right? I thought we were in this to connect and get all these get all the stuff going and figure out what we were doing as a group and move as a group yes but the, but it's a business system like the goal is to make money for everybody the goal is to make a lot of money mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right it isn't just to be a small this is like hundreds of thousands millions of card sets a uh, massive software system uh, massive amount of allies you know we're dealing with millions of people right mm -hmm. this and isn't need this isn't it. just Hey, we got this in the spitting ninny and Duncan, and that's all we need. And we're just taking care of business here, right? No, 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 no. That's not what I'm saying. And that's not what you're not getting. That. I know. Um, <clears throat> have to, we have to integrate it. So that's what we're doing here. We're trying to use, utilize it and use the system and use the stuff. And I got the stewardship. And so so you had the stewardship. You I was had. all taking care of people in my brain, and I was taking care of everybody. That's more the that's more the diplomatic officer. <laughs> she, Ashley, but you know what? Chinoa's at nine, and Chinoa doesn't want to be the captain. So, basically. But we got to create a cryptocurrency. Are you honestly upset? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you're going to talk to all your friends. And you know what he did? He demoted me. He put me, I, I thought I was captain. Yeah, I thought you were captain too. You were doing so great. <laughs> like I'd want to tell anyone that in the middle of my deepest despair, oh, I get demoted or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you even want to tell anyone that? What's because that? And I went around to everybody and I was so excited that I got the promotion. I told all these people that you I had And then I'm like, oh, everybody I saw. <laughs> <laughs> I was carrying around a clipboard at a party. I'm the captain. Like, oh, yeah. And I'm like, I've got a meeting to do. <laughs> Everybody thought I was doing something really important. <laughs> and then they're going to ask me next time, "Oh, how's the how's the the job going? How's the how's the captain of the ship? How's the, you know, how's the uh -huh. steward and how's this and that?" And then what am I going to tell them? You're, you're gonna you're gonna tell me you had a what do they call it um when they move oh. sideways when you're it's not a demotion but it's a sideways move no i don't want to even say it i'm just gonna lie <laughs> okay you can just make up the stuff it doesn't matter I'm just not I mean, I think you're, I think you are the, well, wait a second. I think Jordan is taking it seriously. I think Lori will. Um, Danji brothers. Uh, Lindsay might. We'll see. 
I mean, Noah, Noah's doing the work where he, he's not talking to me. What? See, you can't be the steward of the ship. That's for sure. I'm not. <laughs> I, I moved to five. Where are you at? I'm at five. Which is creativity. I'm the pro I'm the product designer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? You know, I don't think it was lawful for you to do another div divination without my consent, as because I was the captain. <laughs> well, it looks like we've got something to bring up on uh, Sunday. <laughs> Because it was already a power struggle. We brought the power struggle in. <laughs> That's what we'll do. I think we should have our meeting and divide it by convo killers. Everyone gets a few of the convo killers and then they use that technique to change the conversation. So everyone's just trying to take it over or kill it. That could be kind of fun. What do you want to do? Oh, well, everyone, like I'll send, I'll send the convo killers. We'll divide it up. And then during the, the meeting, you have, like, if you've got wet blanket and diversion rant and under the influence, you have to pretend to do each of those. Mm -hmm. And That's then we'll, yeah, it seems like a good exercise, but I think uh, it might not be, I don't know. Did you ask the group? Did you ask them what they wanted to do? No. <laughs> you know what we were talked about, we discussed last time. What was that? <laughs> it was that we were all going to try and get your work out there yes plan, plan well, the was that we bring together to utilize it to integrate it and you know work through it and work with it oh jordan's here um yeah well i guess that's why like, because the deadline of the convo killers it's the first thing that has to get professional and it's the like lucy l looks like is the force forcing me to make the professional level videos for the tools and then mm -hmm. once they're done there they can be done anywhere right mm -hmm. giardino's coming in oh cool 